Hey, welcome to blog.web6.org. In today's video, we are going to learn how we can submit and verify our WordPress blog to Google Webmaster Tool. So what is Google Webmaster Tool? Google Webmaster Tool is actually a um, tool that provided by Google, the biggest search engine at the moment, to check or to analyze the health of your website. So this is the interface of Google Webmaster Tools once you submit and verify your website. As you can see, we can check anything here like search appearance, search traffic, Google index, crawl errors and security issues and even the site message. So whenever your site is uh, hacked, for example, Google will tell you about this. So it's very useful for any webmaster um, or WordPress blog owners uh, out there to maintain or to keep uh, the site to be healthy. So uh, let's get started. I'm going to use this uh, demo blog. So the first step what you're going to do is log into your dashboard. So log into your dashboard. I assume you are on your dashboard and go to uh, settings and reading. Click on that. So here in the reading setting, make sure that search engine visibility is actually unchecked. So mine is now checked because uh, this site is new. But let's say now I have already a lot of contents and uh, complete pages. I'm going to make sure that before you uh, submit your blog to Webmaster Tool, it's unchecked. So your website is visible to search engine. But now because I've just uh, changed it to uh, unchecked, so I'm going to hit save changes again. So once you are sure that now uh, it's unchecked, then you can go to settings and permalinks. So here in permalink page, uh, make sure that you choose already your preferred permalink. Recommended is the post name permalink, but if you have your own uh, custom permalinks, make sure that it is already changed from default to your preferred uh, permalink. So mine is already changed to post name, which is fine by me. So in permalink setting, I already check it. Then after knowing the permalink uh, settings, we can go then to general. Click on that. So in this area, uh, you should choose either you have with www. So for example, in this uh, blog in my blog as you can see I have www and in wphowtosite.com I don't have that www because this setting is actually the general setting of WordPress address URL now if you want to uh, put www here so three times w then you should also do that here so decide either you have with www or you want to have it without www. Once you've done that, you can hit save changes if you change any settings here. And it will lock you out from your uh, WordPress blog. So let's log in again. Now let's check again to settings and uh, general. So here, as you notice on the top, now we have www. Uh, and then dot and then our domain.com because we just set it to www. So once we already know uh, the WordPress URL that we want, so we prefer it, the next is we go to Webmaster Tool. So you can Google Webmaster Tools or you can go to google.com webmasters and then, uh, I mean, sorry, google.com and then slash webmasters and then slash tools. And then you hit enter and then you will... Um, be redirected to this page. So if you are new, you don't have any site here. So let's add our site here. For example, uh, by seeing the WordPress URL, as you can see, I have www here. So just copy this, copy this, and then um, go here and then paste it here, and then add a site. So uh, the next page would be you need to verify your ownership of this website. So um, in this case, you have uh, two tabs here, recommended method and alternate method. But I don't recommend that alternate method. As you can see, we use uh, we will use recommended method. And the recommended is HTML file upload. In the past, I would use the meta tag and then add the code in the header uh, of my theme. But um, based on my experience, I recommend that you upload the HTML file. Why do we need to do that? Because uh, whenever you change your themes, we will not uh, be worried to change the code again in our header.php. We just leave the HTML in our root directory and you can change uh, your 
themes um, whenever you want without updating your files because you just changed uh, your theme. So let's upload this HTML uh, file upload. So the first step is we go to download this HTML uh, verification file. If you hover this blue uh, link over here, you can download it. So let's download it. Click that and it will be downloaded uh, in your computer. So when it's downloaded, you should see your uh, file here. And because uh, you should check also the name of the file, as you can see, 29 and 0, uh, 075, which is this, wherever you download the file. And then next is we're going to upload this file to our root directory of our site. So I'm using FileZilla FTP client at the moment. You can check out my other tutorial if you are new to this. So let's open uh, FileZilla. There it is. I have it already open. And we go to site and go to wbhowtosite.com so as you can see it's already configured and I just uh, have to hit connect button now as you can see this is the root of my website and uh, what I have to do is just uh, look where I download this google.html file and then uh, drag it and then drop it here on the root directory of my uh, website. So just drop it here. So when it says directory list listing is successful, I'm going to close this and also close this. Then we are going to uh, visiting this uh, HTML file in our browser. Just drag it and drop it in our new tab of the browser to see the verification code and as you can see it doesn't show error so it's valid already then we go back to our uh, webmaster tool and then click the red verify button here click that and as you can see now we are um, confirmed and we are verified to uh, be the owner of this uh, website so next we're going to hit continue button here and because this site is new of course you don't have uh, any anything here what the most important is that uh, this sitemaps um, section says that we have no sitemap so we need to um, to submit a sitemap what is a sitemap so a sitemap actually uh, the sitemap xml so i'm just going to show you sitemap dot x ML in my blog web this is, um, this is the sitemap uh, .xml that will help Google Bots to uh, be notified whenever your site has new posts. So uh, as you can see, this is the post that I've just created or updated, and it will be stored in your website and then uh, slash sitemap .xml. And thankfully, WordPress has good plugin for that. And uh, let's uh, go inside our dashboard before we submit a sitemap. So go to our dashboard again and go to plugins and add new. And search for sitemap.xml generator. Hit enter and it will show you this. Look where it says from um, Arne Bradshold or whatever uh, we should spell his name. So it's called Google XML sitemaps. So I'm just going to uh, go to install now. You can look at the details, but because I've used it for years, I'm just going to hit install now. So now um, we have already this site, Google XML sitemaps. You can check my other tutorial how to set the uh, settings, but we can go to tools no sorry I mean uh, settings and then XML sitemap click on that and as you can see now we can have the URL of our sitemap so as you can see we have the link here so we just drag it and drop it in new tab and as you can see we have um, this kind of sitemap .xml in our file now in our website now so what we're going to do is copy this copy the URL copy and then go back to our webmaster tool and then click on uh, here inside my uh, tab and then here we're going to add uh, or test sitemap so click on that button and then as you can see now we are in this website and because our sitemap was located in sitemap.xml so we just copy this so after the slash and go back to webmaster tool and then paste it here and then 
click on Submit Sitemap. And it's uh, submitted, so we're going to refresh the page. So once we refresh it, you, um, you probably will see that. Don't worry about that because uh, it's also showing it's pending because it's just new. So you can check later on about the sitemap here. So go to crawl and then sitemap and you will see the same page and um, you will see that uh, it needs time to be uh, indexed here. So once we're done with uh, sitemap index, the m the next important thing is that also go to uh, the cheer icon here. So make sure that this, this is the site that we've just submitted and then go to the cheer icon and then uh, click on site settings. Click on that. And here is the most important, the preferred domain. As you can see, we just changed uh, our general setting with www. Uh, our domain name. So we want Google to always uh, see our site with www if you use www. But if you don't use it, then you're going to choose the third one here. But uh, as uh, we saw earlier in our video, I just changed my URL to uh, the one with this www. So what I'm going to do is uh, on private domain, I'm going to check on this second option here and then click save. And as you can see now, we have an error here. And this error is actually saying that we need also to verify the other domain. So as you can see, this domain is actually treated differently than this other domain because we just um, we just submitted the one with www. So what we need to do is we're going to add another site. So go to um, click on web Webmaster Tools uh, wording there and then click on Add a Site. And here we're going to go to our site again, cop, I mean this site. So refresh our site, this is still the old one. So copy this and go back to our web webmaster tool and paste it here. But we need to delete the www because we just need to um, verify the second version without www. Make sure that it is HTTP and then colon and then slash slash and your domain dot com and no no period here and then hit continue button. Now as you can see uh, it asks us again to verify uh, the same Google um, HTML file that we've just uploaded. So to make sure that we have this file click on that uh, link area here in the third uh, option and then drag it to our browser and make sure that it is uh, saying something like this and no error. Once we are sure about that, then we can click on verify and it says congratulations and then hit continue again and here again to uh, look in the drop down menu. So as you can see now we can see all of the site and we want to choose with www. Click on that if you have your site with www and then here in the cheer icon click on that and go to site settings again and now we can choose on the second one display URL as and then www and then hit save and then it will uh, show no error so that's it guys how you can um, verify and submit your site in webmaster tool and the basic settings that you uh, that I recommend you to set when you have it verified. So thank you so much for watching and please like this video if it was useful for you and subscribe to the channel if you want uh, any WordPress tips like this. So thank you so much and take care of yourself. Goodbye!